This is a learning and exam preparation video for the IG business syllabus. At the end of the video are practice assignments for you to prepare you from the exams. Please click www.intmace.com on the link at the bottom of this video to do the assignments for this topic. Unit 3.4 Final Accounts Depreciation, HL only this is the decrease in the value of fixed assets over time. It is a non-cash expense that is recorded in the profit and loss account in order to determine the net profit before interest and tax. Two reasons why assets depreciate are wear and tear. The repeated use of fixed assets such as machinery causes them to fall in value and more money is needed to maintain them. Obsolescence Existent fixed assets fall in value when new or improved versions are introduced in the market. There are two methods in calculating depreciation. They are a straight line method and reducing balance method. Straight line method. Annual depreciation equals original cost minus residual value divided by expected useful life of asset. It is a commonly used method that spreads out the cost of an asset equally over its lifetime by deducting a given constant amount of depreciation of the asset's value per annum. Advantages of Straight Line Depreciation It is simple to calculate as it is a predictable expense that is spread over a number of years. It is mostly suitable for less expensive items such as furniture that can be written off within the asset's estimated useful life. Disadvantages of Straight Line Depreciation It is not suitable for expensive assets such as plant and machinery as it does not cater for the loss in efficiency or increase in repair expenses over the useful life of an asset. It is known to inflate the value of some assets which may have lost the greatest amount of value in their first or second years, such as motor vehicles. It does not take into account the fast-changing technological environment that may render certain fixed assets obsolete very quickly. Reducing Balance Method It applies a percentage depreciation rate over the useful life of the asset. It adopts accelerated depreciation techniques whereby the depreciation amount charged to an asset declines over time. Net book value in year 1 equals cost of original asset minus cost of original asset times rate of depreciation. This is where net book value is an asset's net value and is calculated by deducting the depreciation from the cost of an asset. Rate of depreciation is the percentage fall in the value of an asset over its useful life. Advantages of reducing balance depreciation It is more realistically matches the cost and revenue of the business. It provides a more accurate measure of depreciation compared to the straight line method, especially in the valuation of assets over the years. It increases non-cash expenses immediately, which lowers the income tax expense in the early years, thereby improving cash flow. Disadvantages of Reducing Balance Depreciation It is a more complex method of calculating depreciation compared to the straight line method. It charges the amounts of depreciation in the early years, which may not be realistic for some less expensive assets. The formula used to obtain the rate of deprecation may be subjective because without residual value it cannot be used. It lowers profit which some stakeholders, especially if the company is publicly traded on a stock exchange, might object to. It defers tax payments for later years. This is not the problem if the company keeps going on increasing profits. However, if a company experiences difficulty, growth, and profits slow or go down and the company has to delay future capital expenditures, the income tax burden will increase just as the company is facing cash flow pressures from slowed or declining sales and operating profits. Practice Assignments, Exam Prep Assignments for 
the IBA Business Studies Syllabus. You may now proceed to try out the exam preparation assignments. All assignments will be marked and feedback will be given. Should you need to speak to one of our tutors send your email to administration at intmace.com. Please proceed to the link www.intmace.com at the bottom of this video to commence with your practice. Please click subscribe to our video if you find the content useful. All the best with your assignments.